Let's talk about why you shouldn't use LUTs. LUTs are an incredible tool, super powerful, fast and easy to use, and I use them all of the time. So wait, why shouldn't you be using LUTs? I'll get to that. We just put out our Sasquatch short film commercial. <laughs> We had a lot of fun with the Sasquatch film. <laughs> oh, these are so nasty. And I spent a ton of time color grading and playing around with different looks and just learning. And I've been thinking a lot about LUTs, which are just basically like color presets for video. Now the problem with most LUTs is that they not only give you a color look, they also bake in a contrast and saturation at the same time, which is fine if you decide to use the LUT at full power, but most LUTs are made to be a little bit aggressive, a little bit too much, and then they say, just dial it in. And this is where the big problem is. When you dial in the look, when you just turn it down a little bit, you're not just changing the color look, you're also changing your contrast and saturation, and it starts looking pretty bad pretty fast. But don't worry, I'll show you guys how to fix it, and if you don't feel like fixing it for yourself, I got you. We just launched Human Video Code, digital tools for filmmakers like you to help tell your stories. More specifically, creator tools that help you save time and look pro. Manager Tyler and I teamed up with Grant Fletcher, an incredible digital artist to create a new brand, to make more digital tools so that we can all have access to them. So often I wish I had a tool or style of title or overlay and I just can't can't find it, so we're making them. To celebrate the launch, we have a sale for 72 hours on everything, including the highly recommended audio presets, get super nice audio with just a click, the nostalgia motion titles, these are insane, super high quality retro titles that work inside of Premiere and After Effects, the Aurora transitions to spice up your videos, and even the Cine Sony LEDs are on sale right now, they have been flying off the digital shelves. They've been so popular and that's because they are very useful. But up until now, we only had them made for Sony and now we can finally announce that we have the Cine Canon LUTs built specifically for Canon cameras and Canon users. And I'll show you guys why these LUTs are different from 99% of the LUTs that are out there right now. Go and check out the sale. Thanks so much for supporting us and thank you Grant for making so many of these incredible tools for us and for making this whole thing happen. You are a wizard, a genius. You guys should go check out his YouTube channel. He is so freaking talented. And I really think that Human Video Co. is gonna be an incredible resource and set of tools for us filmmakers. So the problem with most LUTs is that they're made too strong and then you're supposed to kind of dial it in to your liking. Unfortunately, then you're changing the contrast and saturation and it doesn't look very good after just a little bit of dialing it down. And, and I've said that line before too, I've made this mistake. So how do we fix this? We need to separate the look, the color grade into two different things, the contrast and saturation and the color look. I'll show you guys first how we solved this problem with the Cine Sony LUTs and now with the Cine Canon LUTs. And then I'll show you guys how to do it even if you don't have these LUTs. So the Cine Sony and Canon LUT packs essentially have two different sets of LUTs. One to get your footage into Rec. 709, which is kind of just like a standard amount of contrast and saturation. And the other LUTs are the actual look LUTs. And these can be used in basically any program, whether it's DaVinci, Premiere, Final Cut. Now for the Cine Sony LUTs, we made different versions of the Rec. 709 LUTs based on what color and gamma settings you're using while you're shooting. And because there's a lot of different settings for the Sony, we made a bunch of different ones. And then for each of those, we have both a normal and a darker version. This gets you to a nice baseline contrast and saturation super fast. Like literally 
click, you're, you're done. All the work has been done for you. You didn't really have to do anything. For Canon, there's less options in terms of the color settings. So we gave you four different versions of C-Log2 and C-Log3 Rec. 709 LUTs. And again, these get you to a nice, even Rec. 709 look super fast and easily. And then you add the second LUT, which is the look LUT. And we give you five different looks. They're the same in the Cine Canon and Cine Sony packs. And then you're basically done. Now, why do we do it like this? Well, first of all, speed and then control and way more possibilities. So if you didn't understand, we're not just giving you five different looks. We're actually giving you 20 different looks. You can choose what contrast and saturation that you want, the bright, the dark, the soft, the natural, and then you can choose one of the look LUTs so you can mix and match and have 20 different options. But it gets even better. This is where we fix the problem with most LUTs. So let's say maybe you want like a darker teal and orange look and you're filming in C-Log2. So you choose the C-Log2 and you, you want the darker version because you want a dark look. Great, now we have a really nice starting point. Then we put on the teal and orange filmic look. Bam, super fast and easy. But maybe you think this look is a little bit too heavy handed and you want to dial it in. Well, we can actually do that now. So you can go to the teal and orange LUT and just turn it down and notice you're not losing all of your contrast and saturation as you turn it down. Maybe you want a soft, soft filmic look, a super California vibe, but maybe that look is too strong. So you can dial it down again without drastically changing the contrast and saturation because they're two different LUTs working together. You get the same ease of use and speed and power of LUTs, but just with way more control and options. Just look at the difference if I combine the two LUTs and then try to dial it down, which is what you're doing with most LUTs. It's changing everything all at once, the color look, the contrast, the saturation, everything. And once you're like halfway down, it looks pretty bad. And then let's do it the better way where we have the two LUTs separated and we turn down the look and it still looks really nice, pretty much no matter how strong or weak you have the color look LUT. And this way it's a lot faster because you don't then have to go back and change the contrast and saturation because you messed with that. And then you're manipulating the colors that you already, it, it gets really messy really fast. Now it's still not Perfect. The thing is, when you're changing anything, it's affecting something else. So color and contrast and saturation, they're not independent of each other. We always see like different sliders for those different things, but they all affect each other. For example, if you add contrast, you're also adding saturation at the exact same time. But this is still so much better than just using one LUT that has both the color and the contrast and saturation all in one. Now, even better than that is what DaVinci calls power grades. And this is a preset, kind of like a LUT, except it gives you all of the different things, the different tools that made that LUT or preset. And then you can go in and change any of them, turn them down, turn them off, manipulate them however you want. But unfortunately, not all programs have these power grades, except they kind of do. You can make presets in Premiere or in Final Cut, which act very similar to a power grade. Basically for most of my videos that I make, I have a preset that I use that has my LUTs and different tools and I just drag and drop that and I'm done with color grading with a little bit of color correction in some spots. And that's what I would do if I were you, essentially expanding on the idea of what a LUT is. LUTs can and I think should play a role in your preset, but you don't need to use them either. You could do this all without any LUTs of any kind. I just think LUTs make it a lot faster and easier for you. And some people who aren't as good at color grading, it just gives you a big leg up without having to know all of these kind of fancy things about color grading. So let's build a quick preset here in Final Cut Pro, which works pretty much the same as Premiere and DaVinci, it's even better, but basically the same idea here. So first I'm gonna add a LUT and it's my Rec. 709 LUT. So we're gonna use the C-Log2 Natural because I filmed in C-Log2. And again, you could do this part 
just kind of using a tool to add contrast and saturation. It just takes a lot more work and you have to be a lot better at color grading to get it to a nice even point. And I just find that the LUT works more consistently and just faster. Then we had our look LUT. I like the teal and orange. That's my favorite one. Um, just because of the contrast between orange and blue or teal and orange, it, it just, it works really well. And then let's dial it down a little bit and the image is still looking great. Again, you could do the look part using different tools, but I, I just think it's a lot easier to get the look with a really nice LUT. And by the way, there are free Rec. 709 LUTs out there and there are free look LUTs out there also. I just think the free ones aren't usually that great and so that's why I made one that I really, really like and I'm putting it out there for you guys also. And then I'll add a color correction tool which is the color corrector for your look. And I like to use the color wheels for this. For example, if you like the overall look but it, you you want it to be a little bit less contrasty, you can do that here. Or maybe you want it to be a little bit cooler tones, you can do that in here. So you're just kind of manipulating the look a little bit to suit your project or style even more. Then I'm gonna add a few things that I don't think let's do super well. One is a curve to raise the shadows and drop the highlights to just make it a little bit more cinematic in my opinion. We're gonna use a curves tool for that. Basically every program has one of these. It's really easy and we're just gonna raise the shadows a little bit and drop the highlights. And then we're gonna add one more thing to correct for the deep shadows. They shouldn't really have any color in them. If we look around, we don't see color in the dark shadows. So we're gonna use a hue saturation curve and we're gonna go to the luma versus sat. This is basically just your luminance from the shadows to your highlights and you're changing the saturation of that point of exposure, luminance, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go to the shadows and desaturate there. You wanna be pretty subtle here. And you can also do this for the highlights the same way if you want that look. It's a very subtle change, but it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and in my opinion, cinematic. And this isn't the best way of doing it, but you just don't really have the right tools inside of Final Cut to do it. So in DaVinci, you can actually go and manipulate just the shadows, like the lowest part of the shadows and get it dialed in, especially with the little control knobby thing. It's, it's incredible. And then we're done. We save that preset. And next time we start up a project, we can just drag and drop that. I usually drag and drop it onto an adjustment layer. And then I color correct the clips underneath it. That's the fastest way to get a really nice, high quality color grade. And then making these presets, you can take some, you know, really popular person's LUTs and make it look your own. You can change it up just a a little bit and most people aren't gonna do that exact same thing and so it's gonna look unique to you. So yeah, you shouldn't use LUTs the lazy way. There's a much better way and it's just as fast. It just takes a little bit of work to kind of set up and then once you have it, it's just drag and drop and you're ready to go. Small tweaks and it's just so much more powerful and I guarantee you, you'll get a much much better look at the end of it. All right, go and check out the Human Video Co. launch sale. If you have a Sony camera, get the Cine Sony LUTs. If you have a Canon camera, get the Cine Canon LUTs. For the other cameras, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we have some really cool new transitions coming. I've been testing them, using them a ton, and they are so good. Some of my favorite transitions I've ever used. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the sale. Thanks so much for the support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.